Here we have a 2021 Audi Q8 TFSI Quattro S-Line Edition. Now with this vehicle, you do get the 22 inch alloy wheels, all in excellent condition, finished in black. We've got the Orca black metallic exterior paintwork, as well as the titanium black pack, a black styling pack to give it that stealthed out look. Black Audi badges. We've then got the second 22 inch alloy wheel. S-line badging just above. Colour coded wing mirrors and door handles. We've got the black trim around the windows with the privacy glass for the rear passengers. Black roof rails on top as well as the sliding glass panoramic sunroof just there. Shark fin antenna just behind. You've then got a spoiler which really sets the back end off nicely. There's a closer look at that second 22 inch alloy wheel. Now you've also got 360 degree centre sensors and cameras as well on this vehicle making it incredibly easy to park again black badges just there power assisted tailgate as well simply press the button and that'll open up for you like so plenty of space in here as you can see now on the left here we've got our controls for the air suspension so we can lower and higher the vehicle just there we've also got the button there to bring that back down now as you can see the vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches and there's a closer look at that last alloy wheel. Going on to the interior next we have got the full black Valcona leather interior. Both outer seats in the rear are heated as well. And how great do these seats look. We've got a contrasting stitching throughout to fold down armrest in the centre. ISO fixed points within the seats. In the centre you've got your climate controls there as well as well as your seated, heated seat controls 212 volt connection points underneath as well storage nets behind the front seats on the doors we've got a brushed metal handle this fantastic trim electric window controls as well as the electric blind so if you look on the left there we could have actually got the blinds the sun blinds just there too and we can actually control as you could just see both sides from each side bang and olufsen sound system as well now going on to the front next, we've got that same full black Valcona leather interior, S-line badging on either side and again how great do these seats look. Now there's a look at the sunroof as well. Now on the doors we've got our memory seat functions, so these are electrically adjustable seats for both front passengers with the memory functions on either side as well. On lock and lock button, brush metal handle, electric power folding heated wing mirror controls with electric window controls just below, boot release down there and we've got that same Bang and Olufsen sound system just there too. Now stepping inside, we'll start the vehicle up, foot on the brake, start stop button just there and we are away. Now as you can see we have got the virtual cockpit and how fantastic does that look. Of course we can change the views to suit our styles as well just there and you can flip between those easily like so as well now multifunctional flat bottom steering wheel in here too with controls for whilst trying to go paddle shifters just behind for taking manual control of your gears auto wiper stock on the right on the left here we've got our speed limiter and cruise control stock we've also got lane keeping assist just there too as you can see there now coming into the middle on the infotainment screen again satellite navigation if you go into home here you'll find features like dab radio in terms of media if we go into sources you've got usb sd card bluetooth etc we've also got phone connectivity to make calls or listen to our music phone apps so we've got things like apple carplay on there which are is a fantastic feature to having a car if you've used it before you'll know why of course we've got the audi drive select with things like off-road all road efficiency comfort auto dynamic and individual with of course the adaptive air suspension so when you change modes so if i go from dynamic for example uh, you'll see that the vehicle will now lower as that is our sporty setting compared to going to off-road the vehicle will then raise to allow more height uh, for when you are doing any off-roading if you did plan on doing in this vehicle now going across again you'll see we've got things like parking aids driver assist lights and vision you'll find background lighting so you'll see behind underneath just there and various parts around the vehicle as you can see highlighted on the screen now will light up it's more of a feature for night time but at night time it does look absolutely superb now Scrolling across there, you can have another look at what's in the settings for cars. Then across there, you've got features like weather, news, etc. Put a vehicle into reverse. You've got your reversing camera as well as your 360 degree view. You can also access each view individually, like so. And then we can actually go into the 3D mode and move the vehicle around by ourselves. And how fantastic is that? 
great representation of the outside environment. Now closing that and working our way down, you'll see we've got heated seat controls for both front passengers as well. We've also got a button for our parking cameras. We've also got our assist systems just there. We can access easily. Start, start button. Gear stick just here. We can actually take manual control like so. The plus and minus are up or down a gear as easily as that should you wish to take manual control. Electronic handbrake with auto hold functions. Below here, two good side cup holders with 12 volt connectivity. In the center here, you've got a soft touch lever armrest which does double up as storage. You've even got your wireless charging capabilities and of course, USB, SIM card and SD card slots there as well. Closing that up, you've also got the pan roof just here which like I said is currently open. We can close that with the switch just there and as you can see and here that all works exactly as you would expect. Now we've also got the blind just behind which again all works exactly as you would expect. Now the vehicle is ready to drive away today with free next day nationwide delivery, competitive low finance, a fresh service and it's also HPI clear. That is all from me on today's video, thank you for watching. Here we have the video test drive of this Audi Q8 3 litre TFSI edition 1. Now the purpose of this video test drive of course is to show if the vehicle drives exactly how you would have expected to. Now as you can see I'm not in fact with steering wheel. To keep it a straight line, it's going straight and true, not veering off to the left or to the right hand side. Now we do have a multifunction steering wheel and, and on the end of the, on, on the, end, on the indicator stop we do have the lane keeping assist. Now to activate something just push the button on the end. Now lane keeping assist keeps you in the middle of the lane so if you start to veer off to the right or to the left it'll bring you back into the centre. Now on the left hand side we do have the cruise control and speed limiter, now to activate simply just press set on the end and use the stalk to go up and down to find your nearest miles an hour. Now the roundabout just took a left as you would if you're driving this vehicle today. Now we do have power shift as well, so I'm going to take over to complete in 6th and push drop down to 5th, into 4th, into 3rd, back up to 4th, into 5th, into 6th and then select car take back over simply just let go. Now I can also, on the gear stick, push to the left and it goes into manual mode. Now when it's straight up and pull down, it goes into S. Now S is the sports gear changing mode, so it revs through the rev range a lot longer and sharpens up those gear changes. Now pull back down again to put it back into normal automatic mode. Now we do have the virtual cockpit in this vehicle, which is fully customizable, where you can have the satellite navigation in front of you. Now you can also have it on the screen in the center. Now the screen in the center is a touch screen haptic. So when you touch the screen, you get a bit of a click underneath your finger, just to let you know actually clicked it properly. Do you have 360 degree cameras with your 3D effective view so you can go through the views which you'll see on the walk around video. Now do you have Bluetooth media and Bluetooth audio connectivity and we do also have the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now if you're test driving this vehicle today you're listening out for anyone to knocks or bangs and if you're listening out during this test drive video there hasn't been any which is always a bonus when buying a used car. Now I'm coming up to the industrial state where I'm going to take a right I'm going to perform a merge stop Pop it straight into reverse just to show that the brakes work exactly how you would expect them to. And you see pop up in the centre screen the 363 cameras in front and rear parking sensors. So major you stop in 3, 2, 1. Hard onto the brakes, straight into reverse, no issues whatsoever. And you've got 363 cameras there. When you pop it back into drive, the camera then changes from the rear camera to the front camera. So you can see what's in front of you. Now, if you haven't answered all the questions and inquiries, join this test drive and walk around video. Please feel free to get in contact with the sales team where they can answer any answer questions and also run through some inquiries with you. But that's it for me in this water and video mini test. I hope to hear from you soon. Cheers.